We're here at Victoria Sports, one of the world's largest indoor sports clubs for the Mr. World Sports Fast Track Competition. The Sports Challenge is a huge event in Mr. World and a very difficult task to find just one victor. To narrow all of the contestants down to just 24, it's time for the dreaded bleep test. The bleep test is simple, but very challenging. The guys have to get from one point to the next before they hear the bleep. And if they don't, they are eliminated. It looks simple, but this is all about stamina. And with every level, the beep gets faster. And it gets that much harder to make the distance. Add a lot of cardio and frenetic, so lots of body weight, sprint, stuff like that. We're going to give it our best, 100%. I will fight you, and I won't give up, ever. All of the contestants have experience on land, but not all have experience in the water. So this next challenge can change everything as they race for the fastest time. England leads the pack with a very credible time of 31.2 seconds. First place, baby. But one group is still to swim. It comes down to the wire with Luxembourg powering ahead of the pack and just beating England by 0.1 of a second to win the overall swimming challenge. Next up is a new event at Mr. World, the Basketball Challenge. This is a race against the clock where the contestants begin at the halfway line and they have 90 seconds to score as many points as possible. The highest score wins the challenge. Contestants score three, two or one point depending on the distance they are from the hoop. The closer you get, the lower the score. So it's all about strategy. With Cameroon setting an early benchmark of 20 points, the fight is on to see who can score higher. With 20 seconds remaining, South Africa needs three hoops to win. As the clock ticks down, Cameroon looks unbeatable. Four, three, but right on the buzzer, he scores. I'm here with the three top scorers. It was very close, but South Africa overtook Colombia and Cameroon. Whee! Congratulations, South Africa! Next up is the shuttle run, and it's a straight shootout with the fastest time winning. All competitors have put in a huge effort, but Ireland is rewarded with the win after a blistering time of 20.41 seconds. Our final challenge has been set by a mixed martial arts legend, John Adaha the current URCC welterweight world champion. The candidates are given a quick lesson in URCC techniques and the Tag Sprawl Challenge begins. As the scores from the day are tallied up, it turns out that South Africa has been consistently strong throughout the day and he needs just one win from his bout to become overall sports champion. Philippine National Police Special Action Force is the elite squad here in the Philippines. It's time for the Mr. World Extreme Challenge. This event is specifically designed to challenge the contestants and separate the men from the boys. Event one is flipping a 100 kilogram tire up a hill for 200 meters in the midday sun. Love it, dude. Just trying to get the breathing. I have so much respect for all these guys. I feel pretty good, Samson. Water! One more! Event two, a timed slalom course, finishing with a 100 meter sprint for the finish. 
Is he ready to land, Jing? Run! No, my sport. Run! 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 Go! 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 The fitness levels are impressive, and the runners' times are very close. Come on, Russia! But to win this event, the contestants need to push themselves to the limit. And the final event, a 100-metre sprint carrying a 25-kilogram sandbag. It felt quite heavy at the end. I feel pretty good. Out of breath. As you can see, I lost a shoe. Cinderella. But it was worth it. Mr. Cinderella to you. <laughs> so, uh, I didn't think it was so hard to run with that sock. Well, it's all in the mindset, really. This is not easy, man. We came here as family. We came here as friends. We are living as a big family, man. Every contestant performed beyond expectation, with Cameroon coming in third, Venezuela second, but Ireland was untouchable, beating his nearest rival by more than 10 seconds. Really good fight. You're the fastest, man. Looking forward to the rest of it now. And to present the award for our extreme and sports champion, please welcome General Cascolan. A round of applause, please, for our champions. And after the break, we have talent and...